Hello and welcome to a fun video. I have a box of the new Maria Tall Chief America Women Quarters. This box has a $25 bag of quarters in it. I'm going to crack these open and go through it and see if we find anything interesting, any type of errors or, or anything on these. All right, um, let's get into this, but right after this. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay. Here we go. Oop. That did not want to go. Here we have it. A bag of Philadelphia Maria Tall Chiefs. Going to open this up and hopefully find something good. Let me get this open. And I've been having trouble with opening these. So let's see. Can I do it this time? Can I do it this time? Okay, here we go. We're gonna cheat a little bit. Just gonna cut it right here. Boop. And now I should be able to. Oh, I need to do the other side. I'm gonna cut it right here. Boop. And now I can pull this. And now I can pull this. Ha <laughs> ha! That took a little bit more than I thought it would. Okay, so let's get the camera set up here. There is a hundred coins in here. Let's zoom in. How about that? Let's see. Does that work? And let me put on a glove because while these are in a bag and uncirculated, they're probably a little dinged up from shuffling around in the bag. So let's take a look at the first one of these and just take a quick look. We'll take a look at this one and then I will check out the lighting and adjust the camera a little bit. Is the Maria Tall Chief reverse there? And here is the obverse. I don't see any major issues going on with this coin. Everything looks like it should. Uh, we'll sort through these and we will take a look at them. And we will, uh, I'll go back and check them under the microscope just to make sure there is nothing wrong with them under the scope or if I see anything weird or interesting, we'll let you know. So that's the first one. Let me adjust the lighting and, and stuff, and then we'll run through these.
Okay, going through the tall chief uh, quarters, um, I didn't see anything major with any of them. Um, the only thing I came across was this one. It has a tiny little rimber on the side there. It's very tiny. It's probably going to fall off before I even know it. Um, this is just a little piece of metal that didn't fully... Um, they got stuck and uh, flaked off there or something hit it and chipped off a piece of the tiny, tiny piece of the rim, like a little flake. Um, that, that's nothing major, nothing special. It doesn't really have any added value in that state. If it had was longer and had folded over into the coin and, and uh, caused a strike through, that would have been a little bit of value. Um, so nothing major on these. Uh, let me go through them. I'm going to put them all under the scope and double check them. See if there's anything minor going on, anything, any type of doubling or what have you. And I will run through these and I'll be right back to let you know if I find anything. Okay, so wrapping up here, um, I ended up with 18 of these with the die chip in the hair. And I'll have to pop up a picture. The chip really blends in with the hair. Um, there is a th there are some thin lines in the die, and I could see that being an easy spot for a die chip to form. And I could see some of the um, uh, tutu, yeah, the tutu. Is that what those are called? Um, being another spot. The only other thing I had was this one with the little rimber on it, and it is just a little piece of metal that it hasn't fallen off, and that'll probably fall off. Not really worth anything. Just something a little differently. Um, going forward, I don't know if I'm going to continue to get the bags of the quarters next year. We'll see how things go in the new year and stuff and, and, uh, whether I want to continue doing these or not. Um, it was, it's always nice to find some min errors. The bags just haven't been exciting the past couple hunts for me personally. Uh, so let me know what you think of them. If you like the hunts and you want me to keep doing them, or if you're just okay with these and you want something want me to do other videos that is fine too and well I, I do have to say the reverse design on this one looks better in person than it did uh the design the the um, design picture of this um i thought was the worst of the ones for this year and it looks better in person um but i gotta say i'm not super impressed with the design on these um these and the previous one were, are probably the two designs I uh, like the least so far. All right, so if you would uh, drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Um, if you want to talk about these coins, uh, the different designs, how, what you think. If you like these, do you not like these? Um, let me know down below. All right, I do appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, helps me out, and drop a comment down below to let me know what you thought. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.